How's practice today? Good. Yeah, it was good. They've done a good job. They've gotten better. Learn how to practice and be physical and stay on our feet and take care of one another and get lots of reps. So pleased uh, as we kind of close up camp here. Um, we've, we've improved and gotten better. We're not there, but we've, we've definitely made trended upwards. Is there any sort of update with the quarterback competition? Well, you know, right now it's uh, it's uh, there's the three guys. Um, there's starting to be some separation, but I'm not ready to comment on it yet. Could you see yourself playing multiple quarterbacks in the open? Yeah, I could see it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not against it. Uh, just in, just in general, kind of, how do you feel the team is doing in terms of ramping things up, yeah. getting ready for the first game of the year, all that jazz? Yeah, um, like I said, it's you know, it was a it's a transition from spring where they're kind of feeling each other out and learning how we like to practice and all those things, learning the system and all those things, and then redoing it in the summer. It got a little bit better, and then through the end of fall camp, we're, we look like a different team. So, um, you know, we're at that point right now where we're really tired of going against each other. Um, we want to play somebody else, but we still got we still got another you know, week and a week and a half. The ACC was supposed to vote on Callen Stamper today, but it yeah. ended up canceling its meeting. Okay. Do you have any feelings or thoughts about? You know how this is how this is going, and would you like to see some resolution on this? Yeah, we'd like to. Opener? Yeah, you'd like to. I mean, obviously, don't have control over that. Um, you know, obviously, we pay attention when I'm given information. I don't get a lot of information. I just let, trust that they're going to do their work. Um, I believe in our leadership, and uh, yeah, ho hopefully, it works out. Um, if if it does go into the season, how do you try to kind of keep the focus on the day to day? You know, with all of that yeah. swirling over your team. I don't think that'll be hard. I think um, you know we're 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 so focused on day to day activities, and then when you have an opponent, pretty much all your energy um, goes into the preparation. So I don't I don't think it'll be a problem. I know when I was here last time, we asked about the ACC. You, now that it's been out there for a couple weeks yeah. now, do you have any more thoughts about just? What that would be like for I think uh, this you know, team just I think it would. Uh, I think it's an incredible conference. Um, great teams, great academic institutions. We'd be we'd be really happy to be in the ACC. Um, you know, we'll see if it happens, but uh, it'd be an honor to be in there. You know, obviously, college football is changing. So, you know, the whole can you stay on the West Coast? You know, can you stay regionally? I mean, yeah, that would be awesome. That would be great, but. It's changing, you know. I'd say yearly, but faster than that. So you got to be able to adapt, and if you want to play Power Five football, and you, you got to be able to adjust. And like I said, we're willing to play anywhere, and uh, the ACC would be fantastic. Obviously, you're here in part because you really value Stanford's brand, what they represent. Is there any part of you that's just kind of surprised that this is still going on and that they're in this position? Or? I mean, it's just, I think I think we're all in unchartered territory and it, it's, it has been going on for a couple of years and trying to navigate through it. And I'm not privy to all the, the information, but yeah, I, I try not to judge it. I don't, I know I don't have all the information. Obviously, everybody wants resolution um, to, to where we're going, but uh, you know, our job is to, to work day to day, get ready for the season and then start getting ready for Hawaii. And that's been our focus and we've, we've had no trouble doing that. On, on, on Hawaii, have you had much time yet to kind of watch film on them, or just kind of how do you, where, how much time have you spent watching oh, film on that team? Yeah, I've been watching it for about six months. So, but you know, they they uh, they haven't played, you know, so they're, they're going to play on Saturday. So we'll get an idea. They could have changed everything. Um, so you know, they have the benefit of, of playing in a game, which I think is is an advantage. Uh, but I guess we have the benefit of being able to see what they're doing. Um, have a little better idea. Hawaii has obviously been going through a lot with the fires in Maui. I know that team had some players from Lahaina, yeah. players who lost loved ones in those fires. Just how much do you feel for a team having to prepare for a season while going through? It's brutal. We feel for them. We've been over there lots. The people are wonderful, always so welcoming. Your heart breaks. Losing loved ones and losing their, their land. And, so obviously football on the, on the scale of that is, is nothing. So we, we wish them the best and uh, you know, looking forward to playing a football game, but uh, also concerned about them and welfare. Just in general, kind of as you kind of as you kind of continue to ramp up with, with fall camp, just any any freshmen, true freshmen that are 
Jeff Lee Santa not catching, catching yeah. other, making progress names come to mind? Yeah, uh, uh, Cedric, our running back, uh, Irvin, has, has done a really good job. He's a tough kid, picked up on it really well. Um, uh, Simi um, has been incredible. He's playing guard. Um, he looks like he's, you know, he just continues to get better. And he's powerful. And he'll make an impact this season. Uh, Trey Williams is a, another guy that's been very impressive. Uh, so just to name, you know, three guys, uh, those guys kind of come to the top of my you have, sorry, you obviously had a really rapid turnaround at Sac State. Yeah. Obviously, this is a different level, yeah. but can you take anything from how quickly you turned things around there into your experience here? Have you been implementing similar things that you did in year one yeah. at Sac State? That's a really good question. I'm, you know, it's it's a different scenario um, for sure. Um, I think really it's the same same stuff in terms of you try to you're trying to build confidence in your scheme and themselves and each other. Um, you're trying to feel out, you know, what you did offensively in the past and what will work here um, and how fast they can kind of take it all in and, and process it. And you're doing all those things like, uh, well, you're, you know, you're cognizant this is a really young team that has not played a lot of football. So trying to get them as much reps as possible. So um, I don't think the process changes, but it's definitely a different situation. Just talk about a couple of from your perspective, what you've seen from, from you got some town ed edge rushers and guys yeah. like you know R.J. Cooper and David Bailey. Just talk yeah. about from your perspective what you think kind of that that group yeah. could could bring how they're <laughs> looking. Yeah, yeah, and, and you, you know uh, Cooper and, and David's an incredibly talented uh, player, one of the most talented guys I've been around. Um, so those guys are explosive. Um, you know we've we've had trouble blocking them all camp. So. They impact you offensively. I can tell you, if we were playing our own team, um, we would have to be aware of where those guys are and, and be able to protect them because they're, they're pretty special. You talked a lot about the importance of players having confidence. Yeah. Like, how how have you tried to build the confidence back up? And did, yeah. given the lean years recently, did you see that kind of wearing on guys a little bit? When you I mean, I think so. I think anytime you know you've you've struggled. You know your confidence will wane a little bit, but the good thing about sports is you know if you, you have some success, you can lose your confidence quickly. You see it happen to teams in one game, right? Uh, but you can gain your confidence that quickly, and that comes from being successful, obviously. So try and put them in positions to be successful, but you also got to test them and put them in scenarios that are going to be difficult. Uh, and you know, in the season, things aren't going to go perfect. They just never do. The teams that win it all. Um, so you just try and prepare them, and you try to you try to be the same guy as a leader, as a coach. Um, we try to treat our guys the same way, met, no matter if they've had a great day or not so great day. Uh, we just go back to work and, and, and coach, and, and, and realize that each day we'll get a little bit better. And you know, the goal is to play our very best. And no one knows how good that is, but we'll find out. Like you said, a, a young team that you're kind of bringing along. One of the experienced players you do have, some of the returning production, Ben Yarosik. Yeah. How much have you leaned on him, and what have you seen from him? Ben's been great. He had a great day today. Um, he's, a, he's a playmaker. Um, he's really competitive. Um, and he's got great composure in, in competitive situations. So he's he's been a tight end to a huge position in our offense, and he's pretty special. What, so, what, have, what have you been kind of your – what have you been focusing on in rebuilding the roster? Like, what have been kind of the trades you're looking for? Beyond just yeah. being really smart. Yeah. So, <laughs> you, know? you know, that's the, the ante to get in, right? You right. have to have a good transcript and done, done the work. And then uh, guys that love football, are really mentally tough, that are going to compete, super competitive. Um, and if they have those two things and a little bit of ability, obviously, you got to be big enough and fast enough and all those things. And those are the type of guys we're looking for. How's Chico Holt looking? Uh, how's he adjusting yeah. coming in late and having to? <laughs> Let's talk about how things are going for him. Yeah, Chico's a great kid, and you know, trial by fire, you're thrown in there immediately. All these guys have, or most of the guys have been here, you know, in the spring and then all summer, and he's got to jump in and learn an offense, get to know everybody. We have great guys, so so they treat him well. Chico's a very talented uh, young man. He's going to be a good player. He's just got to continue to progress like everybody else. Do you think the Sac State fans will recognize the offense? I yeah, mean, like, I think so. is it pretty similar? Yeah, it is. I mean, the the, the concepts are all the same. Um, there's tweaks every year, but uh, the general philosophy and concepts. And then, you know, you just figure out what your guys do well. So you may be a little heavier in one area or a lighter in another area. And part of that you find out during camp, but you also the first game find out, oh, maybe we're not very good at that, or we're pretty good at this, you know. And so you got to adjust in real time and. Uh, but the offense is, is, is the same.